It's in steps. It goes in steps. Yes. So you might be a working actor already and um, some fulfillment is, um, you know, definitely needed and you might be craving for that because you might be working and you might not feel fulfilled when you're on set or when you're not on set or you might not be working enough and uh, or not at all and you would like to definitely be a working actor and definitely feel fulfilled. And usually when I meet actors moving into our community, there's definitely, um, you know, a trend that I'm seeing that actors don't know how to get there. Like, I, I want to be a working actor, but it seems so difficult. The industry is so hard to get into. Um, it's complex. Um, I get jobs, but it's not exactly the jobs that I want. And when I get the jobs, it's not what I expect on set. It's not fun. It's not inspiring. It's not motivating. It's not um, respectful. Um, this competition before I get the jobs or I don't have any jobs. I don't get any work. I don't get any auditions. So there's a lot of um, feeling like I'm not getting the work or I'm not getting the work I like or when I'm getting the work, it doesn't feel great. And therefore, there's a lack of fulfillment. Definitely. If you chose this career as an actor, you definitely did it because you're passionate and so when you're pursuing that career or you're actually living that career, it should fulfill you. If it's not fulfilling you, there's definitely something going on that's misaligned and that you are wanting to be looking at. So you may have looked at that already. You may have taken a ton of class classes to become a working actor. You may have taken a lot of, you know, business classes to become a working actor. You may have taken a lot of woo-woo classes to be fulfilled. You may have taken a lot of audition classes to make sure that you nail and you book your auditions. You may have done a lot of things. Uh, you may have, you know, renewed your headshots a lot, renewed your reel, done some drop-offs, done some casting director uh, workshops, may have reached out to some casting directors and some agents. You may have had some conversation with your agents. You may have tried to change your agent. There's so many things that you can... Um, you know, so many chips that you can move on your chessboard as an actor that, um, yeah, you've, you've may have done a lot of that. Um, a lot of self submissions. I hear a lot of actors trying that. I also hear actors just having hope and thinking it's going to happen. They're going to get noticed. I also hear a lot of actors just losing hope and having some bitterness and just expecting that things should happen without them ever taking action. So I see a little bit of everything on, um, on, on every end of the stick. Um, at the end of the day, um, everyone wants to work and everyone wants to make sure that they feel fulfilled when they are working. And those are the two things that I'm seeing not happening with people moving in our community. They're not working or not getting the work they want. And when they do it, the work they're doing doesn't feel nourishing, doesn't feel fulfilling it doesn't make you happy. And so you want to be looking at that. And I think that what I would really like to um, address today and focus our conversation on is to the question, do you have what it takes to be fulfilled and working as an actor? And the, the answer is a big yes in capital letters, surrounded and underlined three times. You do have what it takes and as I'm, as I'm saying this, I'm looking at myself on Instagram and I'm seeing I'm having a weird hair day. So, um, so you do have what it takes. Absolutely. Because what it takes is to have a human being inside, to have a unique human being. And every single one of you is unique. You are yourself. There's only one of you. There is nothing to compare with anyone else. You are your own body, your own mind, your own spirit, your own heart, your own soul. You're one of a kind. There is no one in the entire world that's the same package as you. And that is your biggest and only raw material and resource is you. Everything that's around that all the drop-offs, all the reach out, all the auditions, all the headshots, the reels, the phone calls, everything that you do depends on you being you 100%. Because you're born with that golden juice inside of you that makes you you. You're bo born with your physical envelope. You're born with your soul, your heart, your spirit, your mind. Everything that makes you unique is built in. And then, of course, you go through conditioning. 
you're raised in a traditional environment, in a traditional culture, in a traditional education system, where you're being told to repress everything that's unique about you and to follow what you're being told to do. You're told to think a certain way, to feel a certain way, to behave a certain way, to play a certain way, to study and learn a certain way. So in a way, you're born as the ultimate jewel, ultimate, unique, uncomparable with anything, absolute freedom and truth, an artist, that's how you're born. And then the way you're being raised is training you out of that, right? Everything in our culture is about behaving, pleasing, um, not expressing your emotions in public, maybe not even for yourself, like you shouldn't cry, you shouldn't be sad, you shouldn't be angry, you should be happy, you should look a certain way on Instagram, you should say a certain type of things, you should think a certain way, you should do the scene right and not wrong, you should be a good actor. So there's all of these shoulds that you're raised into in your traditional family system at school and then later in the culture, you're being told what to do, what to feel, what to think, how to behave all the time. So you become great at people pleasing. You become great at not being yourself. You become great at dishonoring every unique impulse you're having inside of you. You become great at behaving like others. You become great at fitting, right? So all of these things are taking you away from being an, an artist. So what does it take for you to be working and fulfilled is to not go in that direction, but to stay with what you were born with. The only true jewel that you have is what you were born with, your natural self, what nature built in. Everything that happens after your birth is a society and a culture that is trying to pull you out of who you really are and into fitting the rest of the world, into you know, not crying, not getting angry, not expressing everything you feel, about you behaving, about you thinking like others, about you being a good boy, a good girl, a nice boy, a nice girl, which has nothing to do with your truth, which has nothing to do with your instinct, which has nothing to do with your freedom. So for you to be fulfilled as an actor and to be working, you really want to undo all of that conditioning. You really need to train yourself back into your truth. So to the answer, uh, to the question, okay, I know that in order to be an amazing artist, I can't learn that from everyone um, I, because there's no recipe out there for you. Um, so no, you're not going to learn any art in a school, but you got to train what you've got going on. So in our community, what we do train very specifically is your capacity to be you. Outside in the world around us, everything is pressuring us to behave, again, to feel a certain way, to look a certain way, to think a certain way, to speak a certain way, even to hold your body a certain way, right? And to connect with others a certain way. So everything outside in the world is going to pressure you to be like others. And the only thing that you need to work as an actor and to be fulfilled as an actor is to not be submitted to that pressure, but to actually cultivate the real you, the one that has something to gift, the one that has something to give, the one that has something to share. If you're polishing yourself to be like every, everybody else, there's nothing to give, right? If you're trying to be a good person, well, you're just being a generic version of yourself. There's nothing about you being good that is interesting in art. What is interesting in art is, is, in art is for you to be you 100%. So the work we do uh, with actors in our community when they reset themselves is really to um, help you remember what it's like to be you. So we spend some time undoing your conditioning, undoing everything that is pulling you apart from who you truly are in your heart, in your core. And we help you wake up that part of you that has been dormant for decades because you've been asked to not be you. You've been asked to be like others, right? So we undo the stuff that is pressuring you to live under that mask, under that shield. And we encourage you to cultivate and give some space to your instinctive self, to your truthful self, 
to your unique self, to your free self. So that's the work we do. And unless you are showing up that way, freely, truthfully you, you cannot be fulfilled as an actor. Because if I'm booking all the time, but the only thing I'm showing up as on set is this, hi everybody, how's everybody doing? What can I do to please everyone? Right? This feels horrible just to do it. And that's what most actors are trained to do, right? Is to find out what the director wants or the casting director wants and do what they want. That is not fulfilling to you and it's actually not, not helping the story. What the story needs, what your character needs is you. A real 100% human being, fully alive, fully present, fully free, fully purposeful in the moment. We don't need you to be a good person to tell a story. We don't need you to be confident to tell a story. We need you to be you, right? So that is the work we do. And yes, actors in our community train every day. Like if you're an athlete, you're training every day. If you're a singer, you sing every day, right? If you're doing any discipline from your heart, you'll want to do it every day. So in our community, it's not about not doing shit. It's definitely not about learning anything from anyone else. I'm not teaching actors in our community. I'm not telling people what to do. I'm reminding actors and other artists who are in our community where their truth is. I'm showing them the way back home. That's what I do by helping removing the layers of conditioning that are just making you feel resistance and helping you really nourish, cultivate, and give more space to that instinct and that freedom. And yes, once you are back into the habit of being you, it feels great. And you want to train that every day. You may call that training. You may call that cultivating. You may call that showing up. You may call that being present. But that's definitely something that you want to do every day because it feels good, because it's fulfilling. And what does it do at the end of the day? Yes, it makes you book. It makes you book roles you didn't even audition for. Because when um, a team, a director, a casting director sees an actor who is actually in their body, who is actually 100% present, no matter what that looks like, with fear, with anger, with sadness, with joy, with anything that's present in the moment, with shame even, with jealousy, with, with everything that you have going on in the moment, it's magnetic. It's like, it's vibrating. It's alive. And people will want a piece of you. Whether you're coming from the top yellow roll and they end up giving you the, the bottom blue um, sticky roll, it doesn't matter. They'll want to work with you because it's become, become such a rare commodity for um, people to actually show up as they are, free, and truthful and in the moment and present and instinctive it's just so rare like look at what our world is made up of on made up no look at what our world is made up of right now just go on instagram see what's going going on people are trying to look good people are trying to be loved there's no authenticity there's no presence there's no truth so a story needs that. A story needs the truth, the presence, the aliveness. So when any casting director or director will see you with that aliveness, with that very rare nowadays aliveness and truth, they will want a piece of you. Whether you fit the role or not, they'll give you a part because, because you're just a rare commodity and they want to have it. Because the only thing you can tell a story with is with actual humanity. And if you've been pulled away from your humanity for such a long time, well, it's going to be very difficult to tell a story, right? Okay. All right, my friends. This was a nice um, Monday connection. I hope this brought you some value. If it resonates, if you're wanting to show up that way, if you're wanting to, uh, when you're working, if you're wanting to feel fulfilled again, or if you're not working and you're wanting to make sure that you're fulfilled to get the work, uh, please um, get in touch with us. Send us a direct message. Uh, you can download some free trainings that we have on Facebook in the about section, on Instagram in the link in the bio, on YouTube in the comments. Uh, yeah, make, make sure that you watch that. Um, those are free trainings and they'll make you take a step inside and already closer to you. And if you want to go all the way 
definitely get in touch with us. Uh, send us a DM or sign up on our wait list so we can let you know when we open enrollment. All right, my friends. Um, I am looking if we have any messages. Thank you for your hearts and your comments. And I will see you Wednesday. No, I'll be on set. So I will. We you will have a, an interview sent to you on Wednesday. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye.